what should you know about the U.S. sixth-generation fighter jets, and the reality under discussion versus possible exaggerations of the Pentagon. In the video, we will present our version of what happened on September 14, 2020, when the Pentagon unexpectedly announced the successful test of a full-scale flight demonstrator of the sixth-generation fighter jet. In an interview with Defense One, Will Roper, the U.S. Air Force's assistant commander for acquisition and logistics, described the event as something incredible, something magical. This news may seem fantastic, as the sixth-generation fighter has not yet had a clear concept, but has already passed successful tests. According to Defense News, the U.S. Air Force has developed a new fighter jet in an extremely short period of time, which is an incredible achievement by today's standards. For example, Lockheed Martin, which developed the fifth-generation F-35 fighter, spent four years building the X-35 demonstrator. It is worth noting that the company already had experience in creating the F-22, the first fifth-generation fighter in the world. In this case, the sixth-generation fighter demonstrator was developed from scratch within one year. The United States has launched the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD, sixth-generation fighter program which is a joint project of the U.S. Air Force and American aircraft companies. In his interview, Will Roper did not disclose any details about this fighter. We have no information on the specifications, appearance, name, speed, maneuverability, or special capabilities of this aircraft. However, we are left to analyze the available information and speculate. Let's take a look at what problems the developers had to solve during the year to understand what a sixth-generation fighter jet is. This is not a trivial question. As five or six years ago, Experts were discussing the criteria that a fifth-generation fighter should meet. Even so, the F-35 was already fully utilized, and the F-22 was even taken out of production. As a result, the F-22, which is expensive to produce and operate, as well as the F-35 categories A and B, the Russian Su-57, and the Chinese J-20 with some limitations, were clearly recognized as the fifth-generation fighter. In general, Fifth-generation aircraft are characterized by the use of stealth technologies, a phased array antenna, and a powerful power plant. This allows them to reach ultra-high cruising speeds of Mach 1.5 or 2 and perform maneuvers with a controlled thrust vector in different planes. In addition, they have a high level of avionics equipment, including electronic warfare systems. However, as for the sixth-generation aircraft, which represent the next stage of evolution, what can be said about their flight and tactical characteristics? Despite the absence of clearly defined and globally recognized parameters, it can be assumed that the sixth-generation fighter jet should be able to be controlled by artificial intelligence. This means that it can be controlled both by the pilot in the cockpit and by an operator on the ground, who is more likely to be tasked with controlling and limiting the actions of the onboard computer, which has a large number of options. In addition, it can be noted that such equipment has the ability to control a whole swarm of drones. This is in line with the modern concept of air warfare, where there is one leader and a group of wingmen engaged in direct combat and, if necessary, strike operations. Experts also agree that sixth-generation aircraft can reach extremely high speeds in space, even up to Mach 4 or 5, which is equivalent to 3,480 miles per hour. They can even ascend to suborbital altitudes into near space, which requires an appropriate level of engine building, as atmospheric engines cannot operate at altitudes exceeding 18.6 miles. Initially, it was planned to include a combat laser in the armament of the sixth-generation aircraft. However, in the summer of 2019, there were reports that the development of a combat laser was suspended. But at the same time, it is planned to introduce a laser electronic warfare system that will be used to blind air-to-air -air missiles from a potential enemy. However, the most interesting development is the long-range computer virus introduction system, which is being developed by the United States. This means that enemy air defenses can be hit not with physical weapons, but by introducing a computer virus, which will lead to the inadequacy of its operation. Now, Will Roper is trying to convince us that all the systems of the sixth-generation fighter have already been created, at least in the form of projects. However, the fact that the developer of this demonstrator has not been named raises some doubts. There is a possibility that it could be either Northrop Grumman or Lockheed Martin, as both companies have experience in developing prominent aircraft such as the B-2 Spirit, F-22, and F-35. However, why has no specific company been named, and why the secrecy? Perhaps the Pentagon decided to play their favorite American game of poker and started bluffing. Let's remember that bluffing in poker is used to give your opponent the impression that you have a much stronger hand than you actually have. Does this mean that the Pentagon has already used bluffing? Yes, 
Let's recall the Strategic Defense Initiative, also known as Star Wars, which was announced by U.S. President Ronald Reagan in 1983. Its main goal was to create a scientific and technical basis for the development of a large-scale space-based missile defense system. What did it include? For example, orbital stations with chemical lasers, nuclear-pumped lasers, systems for intercepting ballistic missile warheads, and energy weapons. This defense initiative was promoted like a Hollywood blockbuster. Conferences, lots of press releases, and Reagan's photos on the covers of magazines like Time. It turned out that it was all a bluff. The Pentagon tried to convince the Soviet leadership that they had almost finished developing a missile defense that Soviet missiles such as the Satan would not be able to penetrate. This created a situation where the choice was between surrendering positions or responding with an American nuclear strike. The USSR entered another irresistible arms race. Later, the collapse of oil prices finally stunned the USSR. So perhaps the US leadership is trying to repeat this winning strategy. They want to force Putin to invest money not in real projects but in a chimera. According to experts, a sixth-generation fighter jet should appear around the mid-30s. To get it before then, a significant scientific and technological breakthrough is needed, in which funds would be generously invested. The White House is trying to reassure the Kremlin that they almost have a sixth-generation fighter in their pocket, which means they can stop all other projects and focus only on this plane to catch up. Two years later, it seems, the Russians have not been called on their bluff. Recently, U.S. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall announced that the successor to the F-22 Raptor will not be a single aircraft, but a set of next-generation capabilities for combat operations in complex environments. He noted that technology continues to evolve, and the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, project effort is seen as a family of systems that includes several elements, including several autonomous drones operating alongside manned aircraft. This means that there will be several types of aircraft, each with a specific function. So what was tested in the demonstrator in 2020? However, Frank Kendall added that a fighter aircraft similar to the F-22 or F-15EX has entered the development phase. But then how do we explain what Lockheed Martin demonstrated in a video at the Air Warfare Symposium 2020 in Orlando? In the video, we saw an integrated aircraft with flying wings and tailless elements. It has an arrow-shaped wing, the overhangs of which are connected to the nose of the fuselage. The wing consoles have a trapezoidal shape. The airplane has a pair of folding circles, which in some modes must be stored in the corresponding niches on the wing. The cockpit and equipment compartments are located in the front of the aircraft. Advanced engine nacelles surrounded on the sides. Air intakes are located on top of the wing, and their lower part is hidden behind the radar. What was shown by Lockheed Martin and the aircraft that Frank Kendall was talking about are different things. It seems that the 2020 demonstrator that was tested had some of the features of a sixth-generation fighter. For example, it included artificial intelligence control of the aircraft. It is not without reason that the Pentagon has talked about the need to focus on software development, not just hardware. But what is artificial intelligence? It is software. The Russian press reported the following about these 2020 tests. In the field of developing artificial intelligence for the sixth-generation fighter jet, the Russian side is aware that tests of a prototype full-size demonstrator showed insufficient controllability of the American aircraft and problems with performing climb maneuvers. Some commands from the remote operator's console were also not executed. To summarize, it seems that the Pentagon is abandoning the creation of a separate sixth-generation fighter jet. Instead, the focus is on developing artificial intelligence that will allow the aircraft to control swarms of drones capable of operating in A2 or AD, anti-access or area denial zones, and destroying enemy air defenses. However, in order to ensure air superiority, to counter Russian Su-57S, Chinese J-20S, and possibly sixth-generation fighters from these countries, a separate sixth-generation fighter will be developed. This aircraft will have hypersonic speed, ultra-maneuverability, a laser electronic warfare system, and air-to-air -air hypersonic missiles. Let's continue to follow the NGAD program and see if our assumptions are correct. In its fiscal year 2023 budget, the U.S. Air Force has asked Congress to allocate nearly $1.7 billion for NGAD, including $133 million for research, development, testing, and evaluation. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We plan to share many more interesting videos about modern military technology in the near future.